love one another constantly. That was the motto followed daily by one of New Mexico's most revered church leaders, a motto he's remembered for today. Hundreds of New Mexicans gathered in Santa Fe to remember retired Archbishop Michael Sheehan. Griffin Rushton was at the service today and it takes us inside. Griffin. Yeah, bishops, priests, and hundreds of everyday New Mexicans came together at the St. Francis Cathedral Basilica today to honor the man who guided our state's Catholic Church through some of its darkest days. It was a service rooted in Catholic tradition, but with some New Mexican flair. A bittersweet send-off for a beloved spiritual leader. I think all of us would remember many wonderful things. It was literally a plaque on his desk. Archbishop Michael Sheehan's impact on New Mexico's Catholic Church was hard to ignore. In a room full of bishops, priests, and other church leaders, many of whom remember the troubling times Sheehan guided them through. I know he inspired me, and I know he inspired so many of my brothers. Among the traditional hymns, in Catholic funeral traditions, there was an addition, unmistakably New Mexican. Dancers from Jemez Pueblo performed an eagle dance during the ceremony. I thought it was beautiful. I wasn't expecting it, but I thought it was very, very nice. The dance symbolizes an eagle's life from birth to death, but some attendees saw something else. Uh, to me, it's hopeful for the future to have that inclusiveness there. I thought about it for the people from different states, only New Mexico would have it. What do we have, 19 separate independent nations within you know, our community and uh, it's, it's fabulous. Sheehan was the first bishop of the Diocese of Lubbock before being handpicked to lead the Archdiocese of Santa Fe amidst a sex abuse scandal in 1993. And church leaders reminded attendees Sheehan was a tried and true Texan before that. I used to revel in the phrase that the city was twice as nice or with the proper East Texas twain twice as nice. But one thing was clear, Sheehan's heart made the journey to New Mexico with him. And Archbishop Michael's wonderful, positive, enthusiastic approach to wherever he was. Talk about bloom where you planted. Michael Sheehan made sure that where he was, was the best place on earth. Sheehan retired from the Santa Fe Archdiocese in 2015. His casket was placed in a crypt underneath the altar at the St. Francis Cathedral Basilica after today's ceremony. Ryan, Tessa? Oh, beautiful.